student completion option in Schoology allows for teachers to keep track of the pace and the path that students are using inside of their Schoology courses. This is especially helpful for a mastery level course or just to check in and make sure that students are doing all of the work that they're supposed to be doing. So to enable it, what you will need to do is go to your materials section and then you'll need to have something in your materials like a folder. Once you have something in materials, you can click on options, student completion, and then you're going to save changes. And once you've enabled student completion, you can begin adding requirements inside of your course. So here is a unit where students have to do a number of different tasks. So I'm going to click on options, student completion, and I'm going to begin adding requirements. So right now you can see that the box is checked that all of these things have to be completed in order. So I'm going to choose add requirement. And for Flipgrid, the first thing in here, I'm going to choose that they have to view the item. Then we're going to go down to the next. And for the Ed Puzzle, they are going to need to score at least a 75 to progress. The next one will be a discussion. And they need to post a comment and a reply. And the next one for the resources they will need to make a submission. Okay, so I have all of my requirements set up and I'm going to press save changes. And now at the top, there's a student progress check mark and I can select that student progress and now I can scroll through and I can see how much of the session students have completed. And when I see that students have completed a certain amount, I can click on it and I can see what they've finished. If there's something that requires grading, that will mean that I have to go in and do that myself. Now, if I wanna see how this would look for a student, if I go to course options, view course as, and select one of the students who are in the course, it will show me that I am now viewing this course as this person. And so I'm going to go to the materials section, locate that folder, and inside the folder now, I can see that there are requirements for me to do. So for example, I have to view this item first, and you'll see that I can actually click to view this. But on this one, I, can, I see that I have to score at least a 75, and I cannot click on this until I have done this one. So that is something that um, you would wanna make your students aware of, that there are now requirements here, and they can only click on the ones that are open for them to click on because they've passed the requirement. So you can see that there's a value here in using um, student completion, and if you have any questions, just let us know.